Hello Leo, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. So today I will be doing a reading for the Leo Collective. So if you have Leo in any significant placements in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or Jupiter, this message will resonate or could resonate with you. Um, it is general, so it's not going to apply to everyone. Just take what does and leave the rest. So Leo, let's see what God has in store for you. What's your next breakthrough? What are you walking into? So Spirit, give me some messages for Leo. What is their next breakthrough? What are they walking into? What is Leo walking into their next breakthrough? Okay. Oh, the four of fire. You're walking into a season of celebration. A season where you're going to be put on a pedestal. A season of receiving a lot of accolades, a lot of recognition. A season of where a lot of eyes are going to be on you, where you're fully going to be in your power. A season of stability. For some of you, you're going to be connecting a lot with your family. I'm getting passed on ancestors, your lineage. There's a gift that you will be receiving, Leo, that a past ancestor has possessed. You have not met this ancestor in the physical realm in the 3d however you and this ancestor i heard like nature are very much connected you're very similar to each other i heard path and you will follow a similar path this is a destined path for you just as it was for this ancestor next we have the fool in the reverse I feel like for some of you, you're coming into a season where things are going to be more stable for you. Things are going to be more stable. Um, you may be more inclined not to take as many risks. You're finally going to be balanced where you don't feel like you have to take as many risks when it comes to your life, certain opportunities, just different aspects of who you are. Um, you're finally coming into a place where you're whole, where you just feel a deep sense of security. And your family connections are really going to be beneficial for you. Like you're going to find a lot of stability in your home life. Let's get another message. Okay, what do I have? The Nine of Wands, Protector. You are going to be very protected in this next season in your life. I heard when you go, when I say go. Okay, so Leo, you're going to be very guarded. Or you're going to feel a sense to be guarded when it comes to um your family the people that you love but at the same time as you are guarding and protecting those around you that you love spirit is going to be guarding and protecting you it's going to be very important for you to pay attention to your intuition um, I do see for someone, you are going to be moving into a new home, a new residence. I'm getting a condo for someone. Um, be very mindful of who you let into your home. Um, I heard in the enemy camp, there is going to be someone around you who do not have the best intentions for you, Leo. So again, discernment. God is saying use discernment. Yes, you are going to be protected. However, you do have free will. So make sure that you are listening to your intuition when it comes to this person. Again, do not allow everyone into your home. I have the hanged man. I'm getting the song, um, He Will Come to My Rescue. So yes, I feel like for some of you, you're going to be learning how to trust God, how to trust spirit in this next season, this next phase of your life. For some of you, um, you may be around water a lot. You are going to feel very connected to the element of water. I'm also getting for someone with this nine of fire, um, you may be going into the military. I'm also getting war. 
you may be going off to war or a family member may be going off to war. I heard 18. So someone um, in your family, a younger family member may be deciding to join the military. Let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers. Spirit, give me a message for the four of fire. The Six of Pentacles, yeah. This is going to be a time where people are going to be giving to you. You're going to be receiving a lot. People are really going to be pouring into you again. That recognition, I heard do things. I feel like for some of you, people just going to want to do things for you. People just going to want to be there for you. And Leo, you're coming out of that season where... Um, I'm getting a bull. So for some of you, you may have very significant tourist placements, but it's like you're coming out of a season where you have felt like you have to do for everyone else. You have to give to everyone else. And it's like now the roles are going to be reversed. Now people are going to want to do and give to you. I do see um, opportunities coming in as far as your career, your job. I heard options. For some of you, you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to your career. Let's pull a message for the full and the reverse. Okay, so with this Six of Pentacles, I'm getting poverty. Okay, so for someone, you may have grown up in a life of poverty. You may have recently fell on hard times. And so this breakthrough is going to be about you regaining your stability, especially in terms of finances. I do see you moving into a new home. I heard homeless. So you're going from homeless to homeowner. Clarifying the full and the reverse is the Three of Swords. I feel like you're going to be very grounded when it comes to your romantic connections. Deciding who you are going to allow into your heart space. For some of you, you may have been careless in the past when it came to your relationships. Getting involved, you know, with certain people that you may have already known you shouldn't be involved with, but you did it anyway. But you're going to be using wisdom. You're going to be wiser when it comes to affairs of the heart, Leo. I'm also seeing for anyone that may have recently undergone a disappointment. You're going to be healing from that. You're going to finally be able to let that go. You're, I'm getting naive. You're no longer going to be naive when it comes to romantic partnerships, romantic situations. You're going to have a lot of clarity about what it is that you want. And I heard wait. You're going to be willing to wait. Wait on the right person. You're not going to feel like you have to just put yourself out there. Like you're not going to be desperate or you're not going to feel like you have to be desperate. Like you're running out of time. No, you're going to wait. God is going to give you the spirit of waiting, temperance, patience. Let's get a message for the nine of fire. Queen of Cups, yeah. You're definitely going to be protecting those that you love. You are going to be protecting those that you love. Okay, so for those of you who are in a relationship and you are in a long distance relationship or you are in a connection with someone who's overseas, who's in the military, this person is coming back home. They're coming home. Yes. This person is coming home. I see celebration. I see balloons. I see hugs. I see kisses. I see just happiness. I see joy. This person is coming home. For some of you, this is a child. An adult child. And for others of you, this is someone that you're in a romantic relationship with. But this person is coming home. You've been waiting and this person is returning home. I'm also getting incarcerated for someone. Your loved one is coming home. Your breakthrough. They shall be released. They shall return back to you. Let's get a message for the hangman. Oh. 
Okay. Ooh. I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and Death in the reverse. God is going to be showing you a new way how to get money, how to accumulate financial stability. But it's going to require you to change. So you're getting ready to go into a season where you're going to be doing a lot of reflection, having a lot of insight. I heard knowledge. God is going to be expanding your knowledge. There's something that is going to come to light for you, something that you can do that's going to help you generate wealth, going to help you generate income. Because you're not where you want to be financially. You're not able to take care of the people that you love. But it's going to require a change. You cannot keep doing the same things that you've been doing, Leo. You're going to get the same results. So it's like out with the old, in with the new. So no, things cannot remain status quo you're going to have to do something different in order to get a different outcome and god is going to give you the tools that you need god is going to give you knowledge wisdom insight there's something that you're going to learn how to create for some of you this is something that you're going to learn how to do with your hands build with your hands but it's going to be very successful for you and i heard company you're going to be able to start your own company a business with this yes i heard she got her own you're going to have your own Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, give me some more messages for Leo. Give me some more messages for the sign of Leo. Okay, what do I have? The seven of pentacles. The eight of pentacles. You're getting ready to invest into yourself. You are going to invest in you. This next season, your breakthrough is you finally being able to invest in you. For some of you, this is going to be you going back to school, you learning something brand new, a different technique, a different way of doing business, picking up a different skill, a hobby. For someone working in spirituality, increasing your knowledge, your spiritual gifts. But this is you investing into you, investing into your goals, investing into the things that you want for yourself, Leo. God is going to give you that. That is a gift. That is a breakthrough. Where you've been given to everybody else, you couldn't put yourself first because you had to put everybody else's needs and wants first. Now you're entering a season where it could be all about you, all about what you want. That's God's blessing. To finally be able to focus on yourself. For some of you, God is going to give you the gift of time. You're going to have the time to do what it is that you love. The time you need to focus on yourself. To take care of your own needs. Let's get another message. Okay, five of wands in the reverse is yours. You ain't got to fight for this. You ain't got to compete with nobody. Whatever this is for you, whatever gift talent this is, whatever business this is, you don't got to compete. Your gift is making room for you. You ain't got to compete. You ain't got to worry about no competition. This all yours. This all you. You ain't got to even fight for it. It's, it's being given to you. Wrapped in a bow, a big red bow, Leo. You ain't even got to compete. For those of you that have been having struggles in love, and I'm getting struggle love. Yeah, you've been through the struggle love too, Leo. You about to meet somebody. You ain't going to even have to worry about no competition. Ain't nobody else. You ain't got to compete with nobody else for this person's time, for this person's affection. You ain't got to compete. Because it's yours. See, one thing about when God gives you something, you ain't got to compete for it. You ain't got to stress over it. It's going to come with peace. Because it's from God. God don't dwell in confusion. He's not the orchestrator of confusion. That's the enemy. God is for peace. God like the pathway to be clear. And that's what he's going to be doing for some of you, making it clear when it comes to a relationship. Making it clear in your love life, giving you somebody you don't even got to worry about. 
fighting over, fighting for, people calling your phone. You don't got to worry about none of that. Eyes for you. I heard only, only eyes for you. And then what do we have? The Queen of Wands in the reverse. I heard low vibrational. For some of you, you're getting rid of low vibrational people. That is a gift. One of the biggest gifts. Low vibrational people who really don't want to see you do good anyway. Who is trying to block you from being successful. Who do not want to see you make it. Yes, God is removing anyone low vibrational out of your life. Family, friends, co-workers, whomever. They gotta go. Because you stepping into your season. This is for you. Let's clarify. Spirit, give me a message for the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Wands in the reverse. I heard starting over for some of you. You're going into a season where you're going to have to start over, start a new, new beginning or fresh start. Start from the ground up, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Nurturing yourself, nurturing your goals back to health. Coming out of a period where you feel stuck, you feel stagnant, things aren't moving like you want it to move. Let's get a message for the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Swords in the reverse. You gonna be dedicated to this? <laughs> you gonna be dedicated. The spirit of dedication. Spirit of perseverance. You gonna be dedicated to this. You're not gonna be able to walk away from this. You ain't gonna be able to leave this alone. Like God gonna have you stuck right there. You gonna be dedicated to this. Dedicated to this business. Dedicated to this career. Dedicated to going back to school. Dedicated to learning. Dedicated to growth. Dedication. You ain't going nowhere. You gonna stay planted. God gonna anchor you down in whatever this is. Let's get a message for the five of wands in the reverse. Look at what I have. The seven of swords in the world. You don't even see this new beginning. You don't even see this new beginning. It's over. It's done. The competition. Being surrounded by people who envy you. Trying to knock you down. Always trying to get ahead. Trying to put you down. It's over. It's done. God is sounding the horn. God is bringing things to light. For some of you, things are going to be brought to light when it comes to a relationship, a connection, and you finally going to be able to walk away from it because you've been holding on to it for so long, trying to make it work. And it's like, finally, I was waiting on this news. I can finally let this go. I can finally let, finally let this job go. I can finally, finally let this relationship go. I can finally release it because now I see I don't have nothing stopping me. I don't have nothing hindering me. I can finally move on with my life. God is giving you the gift of movement. No longer being stuck in something that's not for you. That's not for your highest good. You can end it. God saying you can end it. Because see, this person over here think, you know, they doing something. Think they can stop you. Think they can stop your new beginning. But no, they can't. God has all power. Whatever God say, I heard God said so. Because God said it. God said it. I mean, that's why they can't stop it. Because God said it can't be stopped. God said you will move on. You will have this new beginning. You will close out this cycle. God said it. Let's get a message for the Queen of Wands.
what do I have here? Judgment in the reverse. Everything that was meant for your bad is going to be worked out for your good. Everything somebody tried to plot against you coming to an end. People who really wasn't there for your highest good coming to an end. It's done. At the bottom of the deck, I got the chariot. You moving on. You moving past all of this. All of this deception, all of the backbiting, all of the stagnation, you moving. Full speed ahead, you moving with clarity. Things are going to be balanced out for you. God is bringing balance to your life, balance to your situation. Whatever didn't work out for you, God just taking that thing, mixing it up, and turning it into something that's going to be used for your good, your highest good, Leo. So you don't got to worry because God said it. Let's pull one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for Leo. One more message for Leo. I surrender. I surrender. The hangman. That's you surrendering. You enter. You enter into the season where you're gonna. I'm just getting rest. You're gonna be at rest. Be at peace with your life. You're not gonna have to worry. You just gonna see things work out. And the reason why you're not gonna worry so much is because you're gonna trust God. Like you just gonna trust in the divine. You're gonna trust spirit. That's why you ain't going to worry. That's why you're going to have so much peace. People ain't going to understand it, but they don't understand how much you have grown. That's why they don't understand it because they don't understand your process. Surrender. You're going to finally be able to be at peace with yourself, your decisions, your life. And then I have, I am unbreakable. Exactly. Whatever didn't break you made you, Leo. Whatever didn't break you, it just made you. It made you stronger. It made you a warrior. Yeah. And I heard transformation. Yeah, things are going to be changing in your life. Changing for the better. Changing for the better, Leo. So, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.